Well, there it is. Bulk powders box right in front of you. Oh, hey! hey. Thank goodness! Acquired! Hello everybody, I'm back. Yes, there's a pile of pillows. A lot is going on. Still on the iPhone. Hopefully I will return to better quality soon. Little bit of an update on the flat. I've been in the house constantly. So I thought I am not going to put it off any longer. And I was feeling very anxious, like I feel everyone is. And I just needed to rip something. So I just started ripping the wallpaper off. This angle is extremely deceiving. Let's switch you over. I'm singing the That's So Raven theme tune because that seems to be where we're at now. Hopefully you can tell, obviously the window's gonna like overexpose everything. However, I have done a bit of wall by the mirror. Here, 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 here. And that's where I stopped for lunch. <laughs> I should have filmed it, but she wasn't in the right headspace. I was doing it to distract myself. I've been using a steamer right there, loving it. If you're needing to get off a substantial amount of wallpaper, have I had that on the whole time? <laughs> love that for me. A steam, I would say, is a very good investment to make because it's speedy. It just makes the whole process a whole lot easier. I bought this new. How old does that look already? It's quite scary. I've been majorly distracted by them putting RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 4 on Netflix. And Tom has just gotten Disney Plus. So I feel like this job is gonna get done a lot slower, but trying to stay calm. <laughs> Other way, landscape. <laughs> I've run out of filler. Oh, I don't really know. Filler. Filler. everyone how are you doing a lot has happened since i last spoke on here i don't know why i wasn't really in the vloggy kind of mood obviously what's going on with the world and that i was just getting on distracting myself we've made very good progress in the living room so far we've had very extensive filling days that hopefully are going to pay off massively but today is the day to sand which is very exciting we have wrapped all our furniture we're gonna get on with sanding see how this goes sanding washing the walls and then i think ideally we want to be done all that by today and then we can finally be on the painting so let's see how we get on and also let's see how tom's dressed he's very dressed for the occasion do you mind me filming you <laughs> do you feel sandy ready no Hell yeah.
just like that, I think we've done it. Dusty chic. I can't describe to you how good a bath will feel in approximately 30 minutes. This is the grubbiest job in the world. But it's done. Get yeah, no. <laughs> You're such an asshole. We have encountered a small problem, haven't we, Tom? Yes, we have. So these are very old walls, and no matter how much filling we've done, we have discovered as we roll, sometimes wall crumbles off. It's a great time. <laughs> we're keeping on up, and we're gonna make it look great. Sup, Diddly? I'm having a break, having a teaser bar. Huh. Plot twist. We're doing well. Can I just say, I feel like the room's bright already. Boating. Tom's on a work call. Let's shut the door. <laughs> Hi everyone. How are you doing today? First call is fully on now. So as you can see, here we go. This little alcove, we are not even going to come to until this fish tank does not belong to us. And obviously, because of recent situation, it can't really be moved to its new home. So we are not even going to look at that because obviously we haven't sanded it. We haven't done any prep work because we don't want to get anything on or in the fish tank. We've got first coat on, as you can see, very patchy, but we're aiming to sort that. I briefly mentioned yesterday about the problem that we're having. So these are very, very old walls. It's quite devastating. It's not devastating, but it's a bit upsetting. We worked very hard on filling, sanding, trying to make them as like prepped as possible. But we found as soon as we started putting the paint on, like it does not look great. It does not look great. Obviously the first coat, I can't reassure enough, is not gonna look great. Of course, like you need to build up your layers. But I mean, as an example, I don't think you'll be able to see. So this is like a very severe crack that we did fill, but it's like we haven't. 
I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I feel as if we've disturbed the wall because bits, as I mentioned, have been like peeling off as we've been rolling. And I feel like that's like taking a layer off of wall and it's reacting a bit weirdly in certain places. So there's like a brown patch that's like in the paint. Basically, we're having a great time. So here you can see much better. Do you see? It's almost like damp or something like that. But that is literally come from, from the paint. And it's very odd. I mean, this is a part that it was peeling like loads. So I feel like obviously that's not helped matters because if we go to a wall like this wall, for example, didn't peel at all. And it's like a really good kind of solid white. So I definitely think like that's what's happened. But my fingers are crossed that now that I've like cleaned the rollers, we're starting afresh, it's like completely dry. Hopefully when I roll over it, we'll be sort of back to a white. If anyone is kind of well versed in the painting industry, <laughs> Does anyone know what's happened? Because we're just really intrigued as to what caused that. Our guess is some reaction with like disturbing the wall and then it's like mixed in with the paint or something. I am procrastinating. I'm going to get to painting, but really quickly. <laughs> you know them girls who are like, has anyone else got slug brows? And they truly don't. Has anyone else got slug brows? <laughs> There's so much, like there's so much happening. The annoying thing is I normally pluck my eyebrows. Like I don't normally go and get them done. But for some reason I'm like, everyone else is having trouble being low maintenance. <laughs> Why can't I? Let's get on. Let's get on. Midday check-in. It is 12.45 and I have done one walk. <laughs> It's the biggest wall in the room, so give me a chance. So I've done the TV wall and I've done half of here. Tom, big muscle man Tom, <laughs> has just moved this for me and it has revealed an even worse dampy dampy looking wall. I'm going to turn it around and show you. Look, it's monstrous. <laughs> It's so confusing. Like, honestly, it is not like just showing through. It's done it to the paint and it's really annoying because that is not the color that I bought. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. As I said, I've done this wall. <sighs> it still looks rubbish. I think I'm covering it. I feel like with maybe like two more layers after this one, we'll be good to go. It definitely doesn't look worse. But yeah, so we're one wall down. Gonna head on to this one now. Let's go. I don't know if you're gonna know it's from over there. Massive peelage. Massive. Good morning, lovely humans. How are we today? This is a very spontaneous little clip, so sorry if I look horrendous. I was just looking back at the clips that I've already done and realised that I have not filmed anything for like two weeks and quite a bit has happened. Just thought I would update you. The brown weird stains that we've been having problems with, they weren't improving when we did another layer of paint. They were slightly better. But it was like, if we're going to do another layer, I don't think it's going to be like invisible. And I also worry, what is this? Should we not like do something preventative? So we had a very handy call with Tom's dad, who is very kind of experienced within construction and painting and all this fun stuff. And straight away, as soon as we sort of mentioned semi what it was, he said, Lads, get yourself some stain block. And we were like, Tom's dad. 
<laughs> yes. So got ourselves on Amazon. We ordered two cans of stain block. This one didn't work. We shall be complaining it, <laughs> Amazon, uh, sorry. So the idea of it is that it blocks existing stains from reappearing for water, nicotine, and most other stains. Dries in 50 minutes, easy to apply. So it's literally like spray paint. It does have like a white cast. Obviously it's not gonna fully banish anything, but the idea is that it provides a little bit of coverage. And then obviously you are able to paint over the top. I also had a call my brother who said do not feel discouraged we've gone back in with filler because we weren't really happy with the finish of the walls either they were still looking really bumpy we just weren't quite happy so we regretted it afterwards just from a work perspective but we're crossing our fingers that it's worth it so we filled again sanded again and then we spray blocked everywhere that we could we've covered all the walls and any patches but we're just worried well i'm worried that it's not kind of a severe enough coat do you know to like fully do the job but that is done so we did that the other day now it's just a case of painting again we only currently have enough paint for probably literally like one coat if we're lucky around the whole room but i think we're then gonna order i think some better quality paint not that the paint was like bad or anything but i think just for these walls maybe we need like easy care my dad mentioned like eggshell something that's gonna give a nice almost like protective layer to the wall which i think we're in need of i think it's worth just investing that little bit more to yeah get get a little bit of a a better finish so yeah that's where we're at, at the minute obviously where we've sanded we've kind of exposed the wall a bit but hopefully one coat won't cover it but it's going to be a case of kind of building up the coats of paint we little update for you a lot's happening man a lot happening <laughs> And just like that, it's present day. How do I finish this? <laughs> this is not flattering light. I look like I've put on 47 stone on my face. Oh well. What is that? Have I put on 47 stone on my face? Possibly. I feel extremely uncomfortable. I'm wearing my hair down for the first time in three months. I'm not actually joking. <laughs> Anyway, this video is gonna have to be split into two parts. There was just so much going on. I think it makes a lot more sense. And actually, we're not quite finished the process. We waited for a long time, as have a lot of people, for a Wix order that literally took about a month to come. So yeah, this has been delayed quite a bit, especially because I also bought a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing in this time. So <laughs> we are so close to the finish now and it is so exciting. So if you are too, please subscribe to my channel click the notification bell below and you will be the first to know when that part two is out because it's so exciting i know you want to see me living room finished <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please pop it a like that would be great yeah subscribe if you're not already fingers crossed i'm going to try and have it finished for next sunday pray for me <laughs> lots of love lads sending love and hugs what is my hair? Have a lovely day. The best. <laughs>